Good morning to all of you. All of you, can you hear my voice? Yes. Students. Yes, sir. Is my voice audible? Yes, sir. Okay. How many students are there in your class? Yes. Can anybody tell me how many students are there? Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Okay, okay. ठीक है. There are sixty-seven students in your class, uh, Division B, I think, Mechanical, Direct Second Year. So I request you to join fast so that we'll start our lecture. Please join fast. I'll wait for two more minutes and then we will start our lecture, okay? Okay, so as 28 participants have joined in this meeting, let them join one by one. Please join immediately so that we'll start our lecture. This is our first lecture of CIP. That is communication improvement program. This lecture. So let us start up our lecture. Let me share the screen. Please tell me if the screen is visible to you or not. Is it visible? Screen display kahi? Okay. Thank you. So let us start with our lecture first. Okay. So on the behalf of the college, our college, Sveriges College of Engineering, I welcome you all. And also I wish all of you that this year may be prosperous, happy, healthy to all the students. Okay. Happy New Year. So from today, we are going to start with the CIP, that is Communication Improvement Program. This is not the subject 
for your syllabus okay uh, this is not the subject that you have any university syllabus or any university subject but this is very important subject for improving your communication skills and that's why this subject is included in your college course by our college that is sveriges college of engineering pandarpur for making you able to communicate with the help of english okay in english for uh, improving your abilities uh, for improving your skills regarding the communication our college has introduced this subject in second year for you people okay so from today we are going to start with this subject as all of you are the students uh, i think you are uh, direct second year students all of you are direct second year students yes have you completed your diploma and you uh, taken your admission to uh, engineering is it the case or some of you are from engineering background means you have completed your first uh, first year in engineering and then you joined in second year yes sir all of you are from uh, second year okay and you you are uh, direct second year admission that is all of you have uh, completed your degree of the diploma that is uh, course of the diploma okay yes it is uh, the like 12th uh, means uh, it is like 10 plus 2 course that is you have uh, completed that is diploma course okay so this is the very crucial year for you people this is second year in which you are introduced with the subjects in engineering eh? and this subject our college has introduced for uh, all the sec uh, second year students for all the branches that is cip means communication improvement program our college is taking this subject for the improvement of you people in the communication skills in english okay and that's why this subject has been taught from many years in our college so just let us first start with the importance of english and what is the language that we will uh discuss in this lecture at the end of the lecture i am going to take your attendance so don't leave the meeting before attendance and i may ask questions regarding the syllabus or regarding the whatever is taught here and you have to answer me so don't move here and there be here itself in the lecture as i can see that there are 35 students have joined so that number i'm going to count at the last of the lecture so don't go here and there be present from first minute of the lecture to the last minute so the importance of english that we are going to discuss uh, in the first lecture okay so what's the importance of english and before that what is the language that we are going to discuss okay so let us start with the language so what is the language so language is our primary source of communication it is 
very basic source with the help of which we communicate or we speak with other person or the person who is in front of us or mob in front of us okay so language is our very basic source very primary source of communication it is the method through which we share our ideas and thoughts with others so it is also the method or it is also the way with the help of that way we share that is we share our ideas whatever ideas are there in our mind whatever thoughts are there in our mind that we share with the help of the language so language is called as the very primary or basic source of communication second point is what some people even say that language is what separates us from animals and makes us human okay so all of you know that language is what that separates us from animals and makes us human so only human okay only human being is there which can speak or which can use the language for the communication and no other being or no other creature can contact or can make communication with the with the help of the language so many of the many of us know that language is what separates us from animals so we are separated okay we are separated with animals on the basis of language can anybody see that or has anybody seen that the animal is talking to him and he is talking to uh, other animals or he is speaking with the help of language has anybody seen that no okay the answer is no has anybody seen that any animal is talking or speaking with other animal by using the language or any animal is talking to a person with the help of language he is speaking in the uh, by using the language so the answer is definitely no and why no because animals don't have that much developed brain okay only humans or only human being is the creature which can form or develop or uh, use the language okay so human beings are very intelligent animal and they can produce different languages they can produce different uh, tones intonations okay so only human has that ability and animals don't have that ability okay they can produce different voices okay animals can produce or can uh, create different types of voices like if uh, talking about cuckoo cuckoo is the bird which makes the voice of coo coo okay or dog dog barks like bo bo okay and cat mews okay cat mews like meow meow okay but they don't have the ability to speak with the help of language has anybody seen that a cat is talking or speaking with the man and man is replying to him is it not possible okay it is impossible that animals can form different languages or can speak with the help of the languages okay so animals don't have that ability only human is the creature who can produce and uh, uh, use the language okay 
So that's why some people even say that language is what separates us from animals and makes us human. The next point is there are thousands of languages in the world. So you know that there are more than 190 countries in all over the world. Okay. There are more than 190 countries all over the world. And each of these countries has its own language. Okay. Each of these countries has its own language or each of these countries has a set of its own languages. So, more than thousands of the languages are spoken in all over the world. Okay. And in India itself, talking about India itself, there are more than 29 states. Okay. In India, there are 29 states and three to four union territories are there. So each of the state of India has its own regional language. Okay. Each of these states of India has its own regional language or we may call it as mother tongue or official language of that state okay so if we are speaking about the northeastern states punjab has punjabi as his its language okay gujarat has gujarati then uh, uh, speaking about the hindi region hindi region that is up uttar pradesh uh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, uh, Uttarakhand. These are the states who are having Hindi language as the dominant language. Okay. Then uh, speaking about the um, West Bengal. So West Bengal has its regional language, Bengali. Okay. And Northeastern states. Uh, Talking about them, uh, you can find that there are seven northeastern states, okay? And we also call it as the seven sisters, okay? So these seven states like Arunachal Pradesh, then Assam, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura. So these are seven states. And though these states are small states, they are having their own regional language or mother tongue, okay? So, those, uh, though these states are small states, they use the regional language or their own mother tongue for the communication purpose, okay? So, either states are large or small they are having their own language and they are having pride okay uh, they are having their own proud of the language okay so in india itself you will find that more than hundreds of languages and intonations regarding that languages okay then when we move towards the south and south indian states you will see that these states are not using Hindi as a language of communication, okay? These states are not using Hindi as a language of communication because these states are having their own regional language, okay? Andhra and Telangana is using Telugu language. Then, uh, Tamil Nadu is using Tamil, lang Tamil language, Kerala is using Malayalam language, Karnataka is using Kannad language, Maharashtra is using Marathi language, okay? So, these southern states are not using the Hindi language because they don't consider Hindi as the national language. Why? Because they are very proud of their own language. Okay. They are very proud of their own languages. So when you uh, move or when you go to these states and 
when you will travel there and you will meet these people if you start with the hindi language okay or if you speak or if you want to communicate them with the help of the hindi language they will not entertain you people okay they won't entertain you they will say that either you speak our language or you use english language okay so for communicating with those people southern states people either we have to learn their own language that is malayalam tamilli uh, tamil telugu okay and it is very difficult to learn those languages not that much difficult but it will take time but we can use their english language they will either speak with their original language or they will speak with you people with the english language so it is better to use english there okay and that's why there is necessity to learn this language that is english language so that is why this language has become so important for we people for getting in a communication or for getting in a contact we should learn this language for the speaking purpose or for the communication purpose and that's why this language has its own importance so uh, uh this is the point that is there are thousands of languages in the world and in india itself we are speaking more than hundreds of languages so take for example if we are talking about the maharashtra okay if we are talking about the maharashtra then in maharashtra we are speaking or we are using marathi as a language for communication okay or marathi as a regional language when we uh, visit the different regions of maharashtra you can see that there are different tones at different regions of of the marathi language okay so marathi language is also having its different tones okay or we may call it as intonation okay so when we move towards or we uh, when we go uh, to the city of pune okay when we go to the city of pune then you will see that the puneri marathi or uh, marathi uh, people speaking okay or people there in pune are using different tone of the marathi language okay so there is uh, no any standard of marathi okay there is no any standard uh, uh, of means uh, there is uh, there is no any standard tone that uh, our uh, state has declared for the marathi but puneri marathi is called as the standard marathi language and the language which we are speaking in solapur region or in solapur city the solapuri marathi is somewhat different than the puneri marathi so solapuri marathi has its different tone or we may call it as uh they are using different tone to speak with the people with the marathi language when we move towards the nagpur region or vidarbha region or amravati region you will see that amravati uh, uh, people in amravati are using different tone of marathi language okay and uh, coming towards the kokan region okay sindhudurga malwan then you will see that the malwani marathi is somewhat different than puneri marathi or other uh, uh, tones of marathi so you will see that marathi language has its own different types of uh, tones okay 
So the language is that entity which changes after a mile. It is the proverb in Marathi. Okay, in Marathi we are using the proverb like "bhasha kai hote tar maila maila var badalte." Okay, eka maila nantar bhasha vigri zano te apne lag. Okay, so that's why language changes after a mile. That is the proverb we are using in Marathi. So this is the importance of language and this is the difference in languages that we are using in Maharashtra state itself. And we are talking about world. You will see that there are different languages in all over the world. And English is used as the communication language or it is also used as the very uh, means language for making communication with other people okay so that's why you will see that there are thousands of languages in the world some languages are spoken by millions of people others are only by few thousand so you will see that there are languages which are spoken by millions of people means uh, english talking about english if we are uh, talking about english then you will see that in india itself you will find millions of people are using this english language for the communication purpose okay you will see that in india itself or uh, huh, in india itself you will find millions of people are using the english language for communication purpose but there are also other languages are also there which are spoken by only a few thousand so english is the language which is spoken by millions of people also other languages like chinese uh, language is also there which is also spoken by all over the uh, people of all the china means chinese people only use their own language that is chinese language they do speak language but they are very poor in english language they only use their own language that is chinese language for the communication purpose and that's why that is also the language which is spoken by millions of people also uh, talking about hindi hindi is also uh, spoken by millions of people bengali is also spoken by millions of people but there are some languages okay there are some languages which are not spoken by millions of people these are the languages only used by thousands of people or hundreds of people so what are these languages so these are the tribal languages okay these are the tribal languages and that languages are also spoken in the tribes okay So yes, so some of the languages are spoken by millions of people and others are spoken by few thousand, okay? Then coming towards the next point, that is, why do we learn English, okay? Why do we learn English language? So this is the question that we have to ask for ourselves or with ourselves. So why do we learn English language? So some of the reasons are there. Yes, Yadav Kone. Yes, some of the reasons are there. That's why we learn this language, okay? So why do we learn English? So English was originally the language of England, but through the 
historical efforts of the British Empire, it has become the primary or secondary language of many former British colonies, such as United States, Canada, Australia, India. Okay, so this is the original language of the England or Britishers. This is the language which is original, the uh, original language of the British people. And Britishers have conquered all over the world. Okay, they uh, they ruled all over the world. Okay, Britishers ruled all over the world. So that's why they brought this language uh, for the administration purpose in the different countries which they were ruling at that time. So in the 17th century or 18th century, Britishers brought this language with them and they included this uh, language in the syllabus of the Indian universities, okay, in the 18th century or uh, in the uh, last or in the end of the 17th century they brought this language here and they taught this language to us or ancestors of we people so our uh, people or our indian uh, uh, people learn this language for the job purpose for getting the different jobs in british rule or uh, british empire the people in india okay people in india and students of the india learn this language okay and for getting the job like ias means uh, in uh, those days uh, there were exams like uh, administration uh, services okay or uh, uh, Yes, uh, there are there uh, Britishers were uh, conducting different types of exams for fulfilling the administrative posts, okay, like clerks, okay, like clerks or uh, uh, like uh, uh, inspectors, okay. So these were the posts which uh, Britishers were. Uh, uh, fulfilling at that time and for that they have made this language mandatory okay so we learn this language for getting job but they brought this language for making their administration efforts okay easy so tani kai kele tar hi hi ji language ahe ti aplyala kasha sathi shikavli tar tanna administration tyancha soppa form mane because the manpower from England, it is very difficult or it is very, uh, 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 in those days, uh, the traveling was not that much easy, okay? The people used to travel by ships or waves, uh, sea waves, okay? Samudra Marge travel kare, te wa Aeroplanes wa kare asa na and that's why uh, people used to travel by the ships and it is very difficult to bring the people or uh, uh, servants from uh, European countries or it is very difficult to bring the uh, servants from British, uh, Britain or England. And that's why they taught this language to us okay for making us good at our administration but they uh, did this for ease in administration and we learn this language for getting jobs okay so uh, england that is why uh, english was originally the language of england but through the historical efforts means they 
took historical efforts. They included this language in our Indian university syllabus, okay? And they took historical efforts to uh, just a minute. Okay. So, uh, yes. So, English was originally the language of England, but through the historical efforts of the British Empire, it has become the primary or secondary language of many former British colonies. Means British colonies, which were the British colonies? So, the countries okay countries which were ruled by the britishers or england okay and which are those countries so the countries like united states so us or united states of america was also the colony of britishers before the 18th century but they revolted at that time and us becomes uh means uh us gets its freedom okay and we were not that much developed united states was uh, also not that much developed as compared to the england or britain but they revolted and they uh, push the britishers back in their own country okay and that's why us becomes the independent country in the 18th century uh, late 18th century and uh, there were also the colonies like us canada australia india uh, african countries okay different african countries were also there which were ruled by the britishers okay and that's why this language was brought up to these countries and was taught to our ancestors or we people we learn this language for getting jobs but britishers taught this language to us for making their administration easy okay so this is why that is why this language uh, was learned by us then second was current uh, second is currently english is the primary language of not only countries actively touched by british impression but also many business and cultural spheres dominated by those countries so at this instant english has become the primary language of not only the countries which were ruled by british okay it is not the language which is actively touched by british impression but also many business and cultural spheres dominated by those countries so this is a very important point so at this moment english has become very important or primary language for the countries which not only were the britishers colonies okay but also many business and cultural spheres means for business purpose okay or for uh, exchange of culture for this purpose also uh, this english language has become very important or very primary language okay so that is why this language uh, we should learn okay this is the another reason so next reason for it is it is the language of Hollywood and the language of international banking and business. So all of you are very fond of the Hollywood movies. Okay. You are very fond of Hollywood movies. You love to watch the Hollywood movies because they're uh, uh, different uh, stories. Okay there are stories which are very different from bollywood movies in bollywood uh, we are making only love stories or uh, we are making only drama movies we are making only comedy movies but hollywood 
you can see that in hollywood movies there is suspense thriller or uh, uh, different uh, types of uh, movies this hollywood uh, country is making okay so you can see that they these hollywood movies are having suspense these hollywood movies are having comedy these hollywood movies are having thriller okay so that's why we are very fond of these hollywood movies we love to watch the hollywood movies and we don't uh, see that uh, in bollywood uh, there are some of the directors who are making uh, good movies but we can see that more of the movies are uh, made on the theory of love okay so that's why hollywood movies are very uh, uh, modern movies we can see that uh, the directors are using modern techniques okay graphics they are using so that's why we love to watch the hollywood movies and you can see that the language which is used for hollywood movies is only english language okay so english language is used to make the hollywood movies the dialogues which are spoken in these hollywood movies are in english language okay so all of us are very uh, fond of these hollywood movies like avengers then harry potter series avenger series marvel series okay uh, or uh, uh, frightening movies are also there okay so we are very fond of hollywood movies and the language which these people are using for making these movies is only the english language okay so also this language okay uh, english language is used for the international banking and business what is international banking the banking between countries okay banking be banking between country and country means banking between america and india banking between america uh, uh, india and nepal banking between india and pakistan okay so system we are using banking system for exchanging of the currency okay we are using currency we are purchasing currency and we are selling our currency so for banking also for business purpose also this language has to be important language okay and that's why this language is used in international banking and business also as such it is useful and necessary language to know and that's why this is very uh, necessary and useful language we use for the uh, banking purpose or business purpose okay so yes another reasons are there that's why we learn this language and uh, another reason is globalization so globalization is also the reason that's why we should learn this language so what is globalization globalization means what world has come close to us okay with the help of globalization this globalization has made we people to come in contact with each other we are talking to each other with the help of different apps okay we speak we communicate with each other with the different apps like whatsapp facebook instagram twitter okay so these are the social media apps on which we make communication with people from our countries we also can make 
communication with the people from other countries or foreign countries also okay so these are the apps or these are the uh, uh, technologies with the help of which that globalization has covered okay all the aspects of life means we come in close contact with each other means what uh, very simple example with the help of which i want to uh, 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 clear this concept globalization means what this lecture okay this talking about this lecture so i'm conducting this lecture from engineering college okay i'm sitting here in lab and i'm using computer and app that is zoom app for conducting this lecture and you people are listening to me you are uh, studying or you are attending the lectures from your home itself okay with the help of mobile and zoom app or whatsapp okay so i'm sending the link and you are joining to that link this is also called as the fruits of globalization that i'm conducting this lecture from college and you are listening i'm conducting the lecture from college and you are listening to me from your home itself okay so these are the fruits of globalization that has covered all the aspects of life so deep understanding is very important in each and every field so that's why we learn the language for understanding each other okay the next reason uh, to learn this language is without proper communication it is not possible to be in connection okay so without proper communication means what if we want to communicate with the people from foreign countries is it possible to make contact or make communication with the help of hindi language or our regional language can they able to understand that language if they are living uh, in india from many years more than 5 or 10 years then they can understand but if unknown person is from foreign country uh, take example from netherlands or uh, take example of a british england uh, uh, person from england okay if we are uh, speaking with him in hindi language or we are using marathi language for communication purpose then we cannot com communicate with that person because he doesn't know the Eng hindi language or marathi language okay he only knows either his own language or he will use either english language okay so without proper communication it is impossible to be in a connection and that's why we should learn english language we should start speaking this language and the another reason is therefore it is important to know how english language will unite people so it is also the language which can unite the people from all over the world different countries okay with the help of this language we can get closer to each other okay so that's why this is also called as the university a uh, universally accepted language okay so this language is also called as the universally accepted language why it is universally accepted because all of us know that we are using this language for communication purpose for making a contact with each other okay that's why these are the reasons that's why we learn this language okay so these are some of the reasons and uh, today we are, uh, have discussed about the english language what is the language why do we learn it okay and why do we learn the english language okay so these two points we have covered in today's lecture as there are 42 participants 
uh, I have to uh, take attendance first and then we will stop. Okay. So give your attendance while I am calling your roll numbers. Okay. Don't miss your roll call. Please be there and answer to the roll call. Okay. Let me take the roll call. Present it at Umchata. Roll number one. Present. Sir. Two. Yes, sir. Three. Yes, sir. Four. Roll number four. Roll number five. Yes, sir. Six. Yes, sir. Seven. Yes, sir. Eight. Roll number eight. Nine. Present, sir. Ten. Present, sir. Eleven. Present, sir. Twelve. Present, sir. Thirteen. Roll number thirteen. Fourteen. Roll number fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Present, sir. Seventeen. Present, sir. Eighteen. Present, sir. Nineteen. Roll number nineteen. Twenty. Present. Twenty-one. Roll number twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Roll number twenty-four. Present, sir. Twenty-five. Yes, sir. Twenty-five. Yes, sir. Twenty-six. Yes, sir. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Present. Twenty-nine. Present, sir. Thirty. Roll number thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Roll number thirty-two. Yes, sir. Thirty-three. Yes, sir. Thirty-four. Present, sir. Thirty-five. Roll number thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Roll number thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Yes, sir. Thirty-nine. Roll number thirty-nine. Forty. Roll number forty. Forty-one. Present, sir. Roll number forty-one. Aviraj Nagtirak. Yes, sir. Ah, to me. त्या पद्धतीन ते फॉर्मेट आपला कसा आहे त्या पद्धतीन का जॉईन झालं नाही आज एस बी तुमचा रोल नंबर आणि मग तुमचं नाव पुढच्या वेळेपासून या फॉर्मॅट मध्ये जॉईन व्हा ओके सर ओके ठीक आहे रोल नंबर फोर्टी वन ना अविराज नाग टिळक हा येस सर फोर्टी टू प्रेझेंट सर फोर्टी थ्री रोल नंबर फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी फोर यस सर फोर्टी फाय प्रेझेंट सर फोर्टी सिक्स प्रेझेंट सर फोर्टी सेवन रोल नंबर फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टी एट फोर्टी एट फोर्टी नाईन प्रेझेंट सर फिफ्टी रोल नंबर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी वन प्रेझेंट सर Fifty two. Yes, sir. Fifty three. Yes, sir. Fifty four. 
रोल नंबर फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी फाइव रोल नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स यस सर फिफ्टी सेवन रोल नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी नाइन रोल नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन सिक्सटी आयुष आयुष फॉर्मेट मध्य जॉइन हुआ बर का लेक्चर लेक्चर पास एस बी तुम रोल नंबर मग तुम ओके हो सर ठीक है सिक्सटी वन यस सर सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी टू तुम्हें सुधा सिक्सटी थ्री यस सर सिक्सटी फोर यस सर सिक्सटी फाइव रोल नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स सिक्सटी सेवेन प्रेजेंट सर सिक्सटी सेवेन झाले सिक्सटी सेवेन शेवट रोल नंबर सिक्सटी सेवेन है ना हाँ सर ओके ठीक है थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस लेक्चर वील सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर एंड वंस अगेन विश यू ऑल वेरी हैप्पी न्यू इयर ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस लेक्चर यू मे लीव दिस मीटिंग एंड यू विल हैव टू जॉइन टू अनदर मीटिंग ओके थैंक यू आई विल स्टॉप हियर